Good day. Hey there, yogis. This is Stephen Cheng coming to you live at 50 Regent, uh, part of Liberty Harbor, downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment. My handle is Simha Yoga Lab, and the four-digit ID code is 8096. Classes are $10, and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine, and that's online. If you're interested in visiting me and doing in-studio yoga classes at 50 Regent, please visit the website again. All the instructions on there are there on how to get here and also how to sign up. Um, I am streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and the videos are then uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. You can visit uh, those platforms anytime. Uh, please also note that uh, on YouTube and also on uh, Instagram and Facebook, the library of classes are all there. So you can practice at any time, right? So you don't have to actually wait for the day of practice to practice with me. You have a whole library um, going back to all the way back to um, April. So there are hundreds of videos available for you, and they're all labeled. So um, you can always pick the level of class. I also put a few descriptions on there as some of you may already know. So you can always look for something. All right, uh, today's class is open flow. It is a level one and level two. And so for those of you uh, any kind of special conditions, limitations, or injuries, make sure that you are modifying as you need or skipping poses altogether if it's not appropriate for you. All right, let's sit up tall. And for those of you who need to elevate, right, if you have tight hips, tight lower back, if you have blocks, blankets, towels, um, that might help you to uh, find a much more comfortable cross leg position. All right, sitting up tall, palms face up. Fingers come to Dhyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. As you ground evenly through your seat, let the shoulders broaden, sitting up tall. Now, as you find a lengthy tall spine, try not to be too rigid. So there is still some softness in the lengthiness that you're connecting with. Ground evenly to your seat with the mind, stretch quiet, and connect to the breath. Letting the inhales even out with your exhale. And then ujjayi breath whenever you're ready. Slight restriction to the back of the throat, creating the ha sound as you inhale and exhale. Three arms together, inhale. Um. 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 Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer across the heart, pressing your thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up towards the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarwa Vushtan, Sarwa Vushtan, Katopiwa, Katopiwa, Yaha Smari, Yaha Smari, Pundri Kaksham, Pundri Kaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Vihyandraha, Vihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side, elongating through the left side of the neck. And chin toward the right shoulder. 
release from the center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And then the chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction. Ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center. A few more rounds at your own pace. Take the chin back to center and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. And come back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and your spine. Extending the legs forward, separating your feet, supporting your hands to either side. And turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in. Roll out. Draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Take it back to center, switch them around in a rotation, the opposite direction. Come back to center again, cross your shins and take the opposite shin on top. Raise your arms up high, extend, exhale, twist to the right. Stay twisting, raise your right arm up and over the right ear, side bending to the left. Take back up, cross your right hand over your left knee, so your right arm should be on top. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. Now, once you come forward with your hands, pull the uh, tops of the knees toward each other, and that should give you a nice sense of broadening through the entire back. Come up with equal arms, so keep your arms crossed, right arm is on top. Now, if you're not able to double cross like this, you can just press the top of the hands toward each other, right? On the inhale, lift the elbows up, gaze upwards. Exhale, round forward, join your elbows toward the floor. Inhale, roll it back up to center and up. Exhale, roll it forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll forward. Stay forward, folding. Now, if you have more range, you can touch your hands toward the floor. If you have even more range, it could be your forearm. And just fold. Keep your eagle arms. Lift up to vertical. And then on the exhale, twist to the right. So pressing your right arm against your left, stretching your left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. So press strongly with the left arm, stretching your right shoulder. Inhale, take it back to center. Shift back toward the sacrum. Raise your shins parallel to the floor and holding here. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your legs, lift the elbows, looking upwards. So taking this uh, core strengthening position with the back bend. And as you reach elbows out and up, you should feel a broadening and a stretch of the upper back through your shoulder blades. Come back to neutral spine. Hug the knees in closer and draw the elbows toward the knees. And now you're crunching inwards. Continue to hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to more neutral spine. Extend the legs if you're able to. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Come back to center. Cross your shins again. So it should be your um, uh, left leg on top. Releasing. Inhale. Reach your arms out and up. Exhale. Twist to your left. Or your non-dominant leg should be on top. Keep twisting, side bending over to the right. So left arm overhead, tilting to the right side. So it's a left side stretch. Come back up to vertical. Wrap the left hand to the right knee so your left arm should be on top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So once you have your forward fold, again, pull the tops of the knees toward each other. And that should activate your upper back, and that should feel also a broadening. 
inhale, come up with eagle arms. So double wrapping if you can. If you cannot, just the tops of the hands toward each other. Inhale, lift the elbows up, gaze up. Exhale, round it forward. Three times. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, roll it forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll forward. Now, stay forward folding. If you can, touch your hands toward the floor or maybe your forearms if you have that range. Let your upper back broaden and spread. Inhale, roll it back up to vertical. And then twist to your left. Press you with your left arm against your right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Come back to center. Keep your eagle arms. Shift back toward the sacrum. Again, raise your shins parallel to the floor. Flex your feet. Inhale, open, exhale, close. 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 Inhale, open again. Staying here with the knees bent and the feet flexed, or if you want to extend the legs fully, extend. Now continue to hold here. If you want to add on, reach your fingertips forward. Bend again, take it back to center, take the shins uh, toward each other, extend the legs out, inhale, release, raise the arms out and up, exhale, side bend to the right, right hand to the floor, left arm overhead, and extend. Now, as you maintain that left side extension, let the left shoulder start to descend, and reach a left hand toward the upper right hand corner of the room, and extend. So there should be a nice stretch through your left side. Take it back to stacking of your shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Left hand to the floor, right arm overhead. So first, it is a right side stretch. And then you're adding a little bit more action into the right upper shoulder blade by reaching the right hand to the left hand corner of the room and extend. Take it back to stacking, coming back up, and then forward folding, reaching for your feet, your ankles, or your shins, whatever you can hold on to. Inhale, relengthening your spine, make sure you're nice and neutral. On the exhale, hinging at the hips, draw forward. Now for those of you with really tight hips, tight lower back, tight hamstrings, it might actually be more effective if you bend the knees, right? Make sure you continue to flex your feet, grab hold onto your feet, ankles, or your shins. Re-lengthen. It's really important to maintain that neutral spine as you hinge forward at the hip. And as you come forward, you should see a nice stretch to your lower back. Inhale. Come back up. Cross as your shins. Roll forward. And then walk your feet back to hands and knees. So your shoulder, hands are about shoulders width. Line your shoulders up over your wrists. Knees about hip width, line up the hips over your knees. So your hands and knees. Inhale, draw the navel down, raise your tail, raise the back of the head. Exhale, round the spine. Three times. Inhale, lift. This is your cow pose. Exhale, round. Here's your cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. This time, inhale, kick the right heel back. Lift. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, right knee in. This time, inhale, kick back. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm to touch. Kick it back in a row. Right knee to outside the right arm. Kick it back around. Right knee to outside the right arm. Kick it back around. Stay here. Look past your left shoulder for the sole of the right foot. Square back to center, kick the right foot back, and then tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee, three-legged dog. Right knee in towards the nose. Inhale, kick back, three times. Right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. 
Right knee out, soft the right arm in touch. Kick back up three times. Right knee out, soft the right arm. Kick back. Right knee out, soft the right arm. Kick back. Step in. Your right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Three times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keep the arms up. Bending the front knee. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Same thing here. Inhale, length in front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Right hand to the inside of the foot if you're able to touch easily. Or the elbow to top of the right knee. Left arm reaching up to modify. Extended side angle, left palm to face down and reach forward. Left side stretch, keep grounding strongly through the back heel down to anchor down and extend strongly through your left wing. Inhale, take back up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Lower all the way down to the belly, three progressive cobras, hands alongside the rib cage. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have that. If not, keeping your elbows slightly bent for your back bend. Bhujangasana Cobra. And bending at the elbows, lower all the way down. And then child's pose. Seat toward the heels and folding forward, stretching the lower back. And then coming back up to hands and knees, reset. So shoulders width with your hands, knee, uh, hips width with your knees, tucking the toes under. Inhale, kick your left heel back. Exhale, left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. Kick it back again, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee out of the left arm to touch. Kick it back. Left knee out of the left arm to touch. Kick it back. Left knee out of the left arm. Kick it back. Stay there. Look over your right shoulder for the sole of the left foot. Square back to center. Re-extend the left leg and tucking your right toes under. Lift the right knee. Three like a dog. Exhale. Left knee in towards the nose. Inhale. Kick it up. Exhale. Left knee in. Inhale. Kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Kick it up. Open up the hips. Bend the left knee. Left knee out, soft the left arm and touch three times. Kick it back up. Left knee out, soft the left arm. Kick back up. Left knee out, soft the left arm. Kick back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale up. Keep the arms up. Bend the front knee. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Length and front leg reach up. Warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Again, you can modify left arm to top left leg, right arm up. Or if you can touch your left hand all the way down, go ahead and take the full pose, right arm up. Right palm facing down, extending forward, grounding through the back heel down, reaching through your right fingertip, lengthening through the right side. Inhale all the way back up. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank, and then lower all the way down to the belly. Hands alongside the ribcage. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have it. Bend the elbows if you need it. Bhujangasana. And bend the elbows, lower all the way down, child's pose. 
be toward the heels once again. Take it back, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm and touch. Kick it back up, knee comes into twist. Kick it back up, stepping the right foot forward, warrior one. Left hand, catching your right wrist, extend, side bending left. Back to center, switch hands, extend, side bending right. Back to center, wrap the right arm back behind you, left arm forward, and bend your left elbow. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist right. Stay twisting to the right. Then lean it forward, hook the left arm to outer right knee and twist. Take it all the way back up and around, reverse warrior. Extend the right leg, triangle. Right hand to top of the shins if your hamstrings are rather tight. Right hand to the floor if you can reach. Left arm reaching up. Left palm face down, reaching forward, extended triangle. Take back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips and bend the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm to touch. Kick it back up, knee comes into a twist. Kick it back up. Step in, the left foot forward, warrior one. Right hand touching the left wrist, extend, side bend to the right. Take back to center, switch hands, extend, side bend to your left. Back to center again, wrap the left arm back behind you, reach your right arm forward and bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw the right elbow back, exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, draw the right elbow back, exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist, stay twisting to the left. <clears throat> Lean it forward, right elbow to outside the left knee and twist deeper. <clears throat> Inhale, all the way back up and around, reverse warrior. Exhale, lengthen out the left leg, triangle pose. Left hand to top of the shins if you need to modify. Left hand to the floor if you can take the full pose. Right arm up. Right palm to face down. Extend forward, extend a triangle. Inhale all the way back up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, flank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Lower your forearms down, one or both at the same time, a forearm down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose, around the spine. Inhale, kick it up. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. So listen up. So these are knee kicks, right? So you don't have to shift your shoulders forward for your knee kicks. You stay in the shape of forearm down dog. All the movement is in the right leg, right knee, right hip. Okay? So the right knee goes over to the right side. Keep the knee high. So try not to drop the knee too much. And then open it back up to that sideward scorpion. Right knee over to right side. 
Open it back up. One more time. Right knee kick. Open it back up. Now stay in the hip opening position. Extend the right leg. Right leg stays extended. Right heel over to right side. It's a heel kick. Extend it back up. Right heel kick. Extend it back up. Right heel kick. Extend it back up. Lift the elbows back up. Three-legged dog. Step in. Your right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Lift up. Gaze up. Exhale. Bow forward. Devotional warrior. Inhale. Take it all the way back up. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Fully bound or half bound side angle. Wrapping her right arm underneath you to catch the other hand behind you. Then lift up, lean back, and step. Now, if that full bind is too much for you, take the right hand to the floor, left hand staying behind you for the half bind. Start to release your binds. Inhale, come up. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot kicks up. Open up the hips, bend the right knee and flip the dog. Roll on to outside the left foot. Drop the right foot back behind you. You may stay here in the flip dog. Or for those of you who want to take the side plank, you can step the feet to line up one over the other. You can pick up the right foot, draw the right knee in. You can take Dharma Mitra style, right hand to right knee, or you can take yogic toe lock and extend. Release, flip it back around, three-legged dog. Come forward, three-legged plank. Exhale, three-legged chaturanga. Release your feet, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lower your forearms to the floor once again. Press it back. It's a three. It's a, a forearm down dog. Raise your left leg up. Open up the hips. Bend the left knee. So we do this all the time in down dog, right? So keep the weight drawing back. You don't need to shift forward. All the action is in the left hip joint. Left knee moving. Left knee kick over to the left side. Keep the knee high. Open it back up. Sideward scorpion. Left knee kick. Open it back up. Left knee kick. Open it back up. Stay open. We extend. Left heel kick. Open it back up. Left heel kick. Open it back up. Left heel kick. Open it back up. Square off. Lift the elbows up. Three like a dog. Step the left to forward. Warrior one. Wrapping your hands back behind you. Other thumb on top as you interlace and take that into back bend looking up. Bow forward, devotional warrior. All the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, bound side angle, half bind or full bind. Left arm underneath the left leg, circling behind you. Catch your other hand, lift up, lean back, and stack your shoulders. Right, so the aim is eventually one straight line from the crown of the head through the right heel. So you need to lift and lean back to step. Begin to release. Inhale, come up. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Raise your left leg up. Open up the hips. Bend the left knee and flipping the dog. And so this time I'll give you a side view. Right, so you can stay in a flip dog. You can take it into side plank, stacking your hips, stacking your feet, or pick up the left foot, left hand to the left knee, and that's your Dharma Mitra style of the side plank. Or you can take yogic toe lock, extend. Oops, I'm slipping. Let's try that again. All 
All right, so we extend, raise your left leg up, three like a dog, come forward, three like a plank, three like a chaturanga. Release your feet up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, walk, jump, your feet forward between your hands. Feet together, knees together, come up, chair. Gonna shift the weight to your left foot, keep your left knee bent, and kick the right leg out to your side as you lengthen. Bend the knees again, lengthen your right leg, kick your left leg out. Bend the knees, right leg out. Bend the knees, left leg out. Five times, bend the knees, right leg, bend the knees, Left leg, that's three. Bend the knees, right leg, bend the knees. Left leg is four, bend the knees. Right leg, bend the knees, left leg is five. Bend the knees, chair. Wrap the hands back behind you. Lift. Exhale, dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Bend the knees again, chair. Hands together in prayer, twisting to the right. Hook your left arm to outer right knee and twist. Now you want to look down to see that your knees are still lined up as you press your elbow to outer right leg to twist. You may stay here. Three more breaths. A side crow to the right. Inhale, take back up to center. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee and hold it here. Stay on the left leg. Extend the right leg. See if you can get the leg about parallel to the floor the best you can. Bend the right knee again, open out to right side and hold. Lift the right knee as high as you can and hold. Release, back to center, warrior three, arms alongside. Now you can stay in warrior three, or if you want to bow forward a little bit more, raise your right leg higher, toppling tree. Slowly step it back. Warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, raise your left leg up. Open up the hips and bend the left knee. Re-extend, step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee coming down. Line up the left knee over the heel, then take the hands to the top of the thighs. And then lunge forward a little bit more deeply. So really going into the quads and the hip of the right side. Once you have that hip opening, quad stretch, press your hands to your thighs and sinking your belly, leaning away from your thighs. So creating space between the thigh and the belly Lift the chest and lean it back in space. So that is the beginning of your back bend, right? The arching of the back and lifting of the chest, looking gently upward. So that's the beginning of your crescent moon. If you can free up your hands, Venus Mudra, index fingers, extended, interlacing all the other fingers and reach up and back. Move the spine a little bit. Take the hands into a fist. Draw the elbows back as you bow forward. Release your hands, extend the arms, forward and up. Take hands into fists, bend the elbows, draw back and fold. Extend the arms, reach your arms forward and up. One more time, draw the elbows back. Extend the arms and this time, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace. And release your hands down, tuck the right toes under, lengthen out the left leg for your pyramid. So in your pyramid, you're lengthening the front leg, hands supporting to either side as you fold forward. Now, if you need to bend your left knee a little bit, 
go ahead and do that. If you have props, use uh, blocks or um, books to either side of the left foot, using the hands in elevation to help you to find a better reach. So looking to lengthen the left leg the best you can. Bend the front knee, left hand forward about a foot, loop off to left side, half moon. Stacking your right side over your left in the balance. Raise your right arm up, reach your right heel back. Revolve the half moon, right hand down, square up your hip, right heel still reaching back, and raise your left arm up, rotating at the mid spine to your for your twist. So as you rotate, you're looking to keep the pelvis level, or you're looking to stack your left shoulder over your right the best you can. And that happens with the rotation of the mid spine. Seated spinal twist, right knee behind the left heel as you take the seat down. Left leg should be on top. Left hand behind you, right arm up and twist. You may stay here. Those of you who want to add on the arm balance of Kundiyasana 1, your hands are going over to your left side. So lift the seat, hook your arms again, and twist. You can also extend the legs. All right, coming back down, come back to center. Counter twist to the right. And again, you have your options. Stay here in this neutralizing twist or Kundiyasana 2. Left knee to outside the left arm. Kick it out and lift. Take it back down. Warrior 1. Step the left foot forward. Lies back up. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale on breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, inhale on breath, walk, jump, your feet forward between your hands. Feet together, knees together, chair. So we're going to do the kickouts to either side again. So five rounds. So stepping on the right foot, kick the left leg out as you rise. Bend the knees, take it back down, lengthen and kick out to the other side. All right. So stepping on the right foot first. Lengthen, kick left, step it back down. Lengthen, kick right, step it down. Kick left, down. Kick right, down. Left, down. Right, down. Four, down. Four, down, five, down, five, down, stay in chair, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace with the other thumb on top, lift up, gaze up, exhale, lengthen and dive forward. Release your hands, bend the knees, take it up, chair, hands together in prayer, twist to your left. Hooking your right arm to outer left leg, and together in prayer. Make sure knees are lined up and twist. You're welcome to stay there or take your side crow to your left. So your hands land to the floor, shoulders width to the left side. Your left leg press into outer right arm and shift left and forward for your side crow. Take it back down, square back to center, chair, stepping on the right foot this time. Pick up the left knee and hold. Extend the left leg, try to get that left leg as fully extended and parallel to the floor as possible. Bend your left knee again. Open out to left side and hold. Then lift the left knee as high as you can and hold. Release 
release that action, square back to center, arms alongside for warrior three, which is parallel to the floor with your torso on your left leg. If you're going further for top leg tree, you're bowing forward more, raising your left leg higher, think standing split. Gently stepping back, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse, warrior, exhale. Half moon, right hand forward about a foot, lope up to right side, stack and lift. Revolved half moon, left hand down, square up your hips, then reaching right arm out, and up, rotating at the mid spine to stack the shoulders, but keeping your pelvis level. See this final twist, left knee behind the right heel, take the seat down. Right hand behind you for support, left arm is up and twist. All right, so Yogi's option to stay here, or could he have a two to the right? So lifting your seat, set up your arms again. So get the left arm way over to outer right leg. Get it nice and stable. And hands to the right side, lift. You can keep the legs crossed or extend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, counter twist to your left. So again, you can stay here or Kundi Asana too. Lift the seat again. Right inner leg to the out right arm. Kick it out to the side. And shift forward to balance. Take it back down, warrior one. Stepping, your right foot forward, left heel back, arms up. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to floor, kick your right foot up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward, crescent moon, left knee comes down. Walk your hands to the top of your thighs and lunge. Once you set up your legs, Lift the heart up and lean it back with the hands pressing to the top of the thighs. That's the beginning of your back bend. And the arms up, lean it smoothly. And for those of you who noticed, I messed up the sequencing a little bit. This should have been a little bit earlier than the half moon and the twisting. I'm just throwing it back in now. And releasing the hands, take the hands into fist, bend the elbows, draw it forward, releasing your fist, extend the arms, reach up and back. Exhale, bend the elbows, fist, draw back. Inhale, reach arms forward and up. One more time, bend the elbows, draw back. Inhale, reach it forward and up. And then wrapping your hands back behind you, take the non-dominant interlacing of your hands. And release. Pyramid, tuck the left toes under, lengthen the right leg. You can always walk your feet back in a little bit in, in case you are a little bit too wide and you can't find stability, right? So you want to take every pose with stability. Hands to either side for support, lengthening out the right leg the best you can, taking hands to blocks if you need the elevation. Or if you don't have any props, you can always bend your right knee. All right, bend the front knee, ground the back heel, circle it up again, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Draw the left knee in. Line that shin to the floor for your pigeon. So you want to be on the top of the left shin in a pointed toe position. Left knee, left side. Angles out to the left side at a slight angle, 30 to 45 degrees. And this creates a triangle in which you're balancing on. Then inch your right knee as far back as you can so you can lower your seat. Elongate through the spine. Make sure you're nice and level. Find it straight. All right. Notice also, very few of us are going to be sitting down on the left side because we, most of us don't have the flexibility, right? So notice, if I decide to take the left seat down, what happens? Everything shifts to the left. I'm sitting down on the outer left leg, outer left hip. But in order for me not to fall to the left, I have to curve my spine to the right, which crunches my waist. My pelvis is not level. We don't want that. We want pelvis level, which for most of us means we're balancing on the shins, but we're not sitting down on the left seat. So make sure that you clarify that, right? So if you sit all the way down and you don't have that flexibility, you end up curving your spine, which you don't want. It's also not very balanced. This is much more stable, much more balanced, and this is what you want. Walk your hands forward, you can lower your forearms, or you can make pillows with the hands and rest in your forehead. You may remain here and keep it simple in your uh, passive pigeon. If you want to up the ante a little bit, work on some arm balancing, strengthening your arms, your shoulders, your core, lift back up, take the left seat down and swing the right leg forward. You're going to take the right knee over the right shoulder and take it as high as you can. Then take the hands to your floor wider than your hips, probably about mat swing. Then hook the left foot over your right and flex your feet. This becomes a lot. Then lean the way forward. Uh, through the torso, ground the palms, and then lift the feet. So here's your arm balance. You're not sitting down. Your arms are holding the weight of your body. Your right arm is hooking to your right leg, or your right leg is hooking to your right arm, and that's helping you to balance and hold the weight. If you're going further, lean forward with your torso, extend the legs out to the side, and this is your Ashtavakrasana. Now, this is great for those of you who can just hold it. If you're really strong, you want to do push-ups here. Lengthen your arms and bend. Lengthen, bend. Fast time. Lengthen, bend is three. Lengthen, bend four. Lengthen, bend five. And then release. Coming back, reset your left leg. Swing the right leg back. So you're back to your pigeon. And take a few breaths here. All right, take it back up. Walk your hands back in. Tuck the right toes under, down dog, and pedaling out the legs. Walk it out side to side. For those of you who were in the pigeon for that full period of time, you might feel pins and needles, circulation going back to your legs. So walking it out side to side really helps to promote circulation. All right, come back to stillness, second side, right leg up. Draw the right knee in, line that shin to the floor. So again, point to toe position, you're on the top of the right shin, right side, right knee, angles out to the right, about 30 to 45 degrees. Depends on your hip rotation anyway. Supporting with the hands, inch your left knee as far back as you can so you can lower your feet, untuck your toes. Then walk your hands back. Now you're feeling for levelness. Are you balanced here on your right shin? Most of us, again, not sitting down on the right seat, but balancing on the shin. Levelness in the pelvis, lengthiness of your spine, you should feel pretty good here. Right? If you're not sitting down, right? Walk your hands forward, forearms down, staying here, or making pillows with the hands, resting your forehead.
And so again, those of you who are staying here, stay here. Those of you who work with other variations, take it again. If you're working with the arm balancing with me, lift up, take the right seat down, swing the left leg forward. All right, so left knee hikes over your left shoulder. Well, actually, as high up the arm as possible. Not many of us, not all of us can take the knee over your shoulder, right? It depends on your flexibility and the uh, proportion of your body. All right, so I'm not actually over the shoulder either. It's actually uh, on the upper arm. Then take the hands to the floor, wider than your hips, usually means about max width distance. Hook the bottom leg, the right leg, over on top. The reason is because when the bottom leg is on top and you flex, it actually becomes a lock and they uh, hook into each other and you actively pull. If you have the bottom leg on the bottom, you can easily unlock, you see? This is much harder to unlock. Okay, let me reset. Flex, lean the torso forward, press away into your hands and lift the feet. So you can balance here, this is good enough. Or extend the legs out, lean forward, and this is Ashtavakasana. Either staying there or if you're doing push-ups. Lengthen, then. Lengthen, two. Lengthen, three. Lengthen, four, lengthen, five, and hold. Release. Reset back into your pigeon. If you are not taking the variations, come back. Or if you are taking the variations, come back. All right, when you're ready, you make your way back up and into the down dog. Again, cuddling out the legs, walk it out side to side. And start to walk your feet forward towards your hands, take the feet down. Let's extend the legs out wide. You don't have to go to your maximum just yet. Okay. Left hand to the floor, to the outside of the left leg. So maybe toward the hip. Right arm up and rotate your torso over your left leg. Lean forward and grab the outside of the left foot. Re-lengthen your spine. Keep that length in it and hinge at the hips to draw forward. Now once you come forward. Start to think about drawing your left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. So then you're adding a slight rotation to your forward fold as well. Start to take it back up. Switch sides. Right hand down, left arm up. Inhale, exhale, reach forward to the outside of the right foot. Re-lengthen to re-establish your spine. Exhale, hinge at the hips to take it forward. And once you're forward, draw the right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, so you're adding a slight rotation into your forward foot. Release, coming back up. Square back to center. Put the legs a little bit wider. Again, maybe it's not your max yet. Press your left, left arm to inner left leg. Extend the right arm out overhead and then tilt toward the left side for the right side stretch. Now, as you keep tilting toward the left, if you can take the forearm down to the floor, that might give you a nice uh, foundation to press your arm to the inner left leg using that resistance to stack your shoulders some more and keep reaching. And of course, if you combine the right hand to your left foot, take it. Release, draw all the way back up, switching sides, right hand to inside of the right leg, left arm overhead and side bending over toward the right. So this is your left side stretch. Keep tilting toward the right. Maybe your forearm comes to the floor. Press your arm to inside the leg. Keep tilting, maybe even binding hand to foot. Relax. 
release, take it back up. This time, hands to either side of you. Outer rotation with your hands. So you're rolling the hands outwardly. So also that's broadening the front of the shoulders where you rotate out. Take the hands back behind you. Lift up, lean back. Press your fingers to your soul, lift the feet. Maybe slide the feet further out and the hips forward. So now you are hitting the maximum width. Lift up, lean back for your back bend. Now maintaining some of the back bend. Back bend. Lean forward through the heart center. Keep the shoulders drawing back. Also, try not to reach forward with your chin like I'm doing, but instead come back to a more neutral position. But it's your heart center that reaches forward and down. Now once you reach a certain point, maybe the hands come forward to support you better. Then keep curling the hands forward. Keep the spine straighter, maybe even feeling for a slight upper back bend as you keep taking it forward. So this is seated straddling forward bend. Utva Vishta Konasana. Walk it back in with your hands supporting to the inner thighs and above the knees. So as you pull up, your knees will naturally bend. Take the soles of feet together. Let the feet come forward a little bit, creating a diamond shape. You can grab the inner feet or thread the arms underneath the legs with a rounded back. Go ahead and fall forward nice and easy. Release. Take it back up. Extend the legs, extend the arms, and slowly lower onto your back. Take the left arm out to a D, draw the left knee in, and twist to the right. Decline, twist it. Back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to your left. Back to center, hug both knees in. And we'll step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, shavasana. Separating the feet, toes turn to face. Arms alongside the body, palms face up, and let it all go. Beginning to draw the breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reaching the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. When you're ready, roll over to the right and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Ah. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, feeling in the You now come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Again, please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Demo is my preferred way of payment. My handle is Simha Yoga Lab. 
Four-digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Online classes are $10, $5 if you're having a difficult time right now. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and the videos are then uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. And again, there are hundreds of videos available for you on all of those platforms, so you can visit any time. So don't feel like you have to wait for my class times to take classes with me, or even actually take these classes from the same day, right? If you think about it, there are hundreds of videos. You can take a class every day and almost have uh, an endless number of classes that you can go through the week, okay? So go ahead and practice at your own time and have fun, all right? So please also share and let your friends know that there are videos available uh, for practice. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.